Today we will be solving our le leftover numericals. Question number 12. The mass of a lead piece is 115 gram. When it is immersed in a measuring cylinder, the water level rises from 20 milliliter mark to 30 milliliter mark. Find the volume of the lead piece. And number B is the density of the lead in kg per meter cube. So we had know that mass is given as 115 gram and V1 is 20 milliliter and V2 is 30 milliliter. So the volume will be V2 minus V1 that is equals to 30 minus 20 milliliter which is equals to 10 milliliter. Now we know that 1 milliliter is equals to 1 cubic centimeter. So 10 milliliter will be equals to 10 cubic centimeter. Next number B is we have to find out the density. Now we know that density is equals to M by V. M has been given as 115 and V is 10. So it will be 11.5 gram per cubic centimeter. But we need to find our answer in kg per meter cube. So we know that 1 gram per cubic centimeter is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube. So 11.5 gram per cubic centimeter will be multiplied by 1000 that is equals to 11500 kg per meter cube. 11500 kg per meter cube. Question number 13. The density of copper is 8.9 gram per cubic centimeter. What will be its density in kg per meter cube? Now, actually, when uh, in a book you will find it's given as kg m minus 3. So, minus 3 1 we are writing as this slash 1 kg per meter cube. That, is, that means it's below. Okay. Now, density of copper is given as 8.9 gram per cubic meter. Sorry, it's given as cubic centimeter. So, we know that 1 gram per cubic centimeter is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube. So, 8.9 gram per cubic centimeter will be multiplied by 1000. Yes. So, it will be 89 triple zero. It is 1 tens 100 thousand 89 thousand kg per meter cube. Question 14. A car travels a distance of 15 kilometer in 20 minutes. So, find the speed of the car in kilometer per hour and number B is meter per second. And distance has been given as 15 kilometer. Time is 20 minutes. That is equals to if we convert it, it is equals to 1 by 3 hour. Because we need to convert this minute to hour. And the distance is given, already is given in kilometer. Okay, 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 1 minute will be 1 by 60 hour. So 20 minute will be 1 by 60 into 20. That is equals to 1 by 3 hour. Now we know that speed is equals to distance by time taken. Distance is given as 15. So 15 by 1 by 3 that will be equals to it will be reciprocal 1. 15 into 3 by 1 is 45 kilometer per hour. And number B is to find in meter per second. Now 1 meter per second is equals to 3.6 kilometer per hour. It is given in your book this one. So 1 kilometer per hour will be equals to 1 by 3.6. So, 45 km per hour will be 1 by 3.6 into 45 which is equals to 12.5 meter per second. Question 15. How long a train will take to travel a distance of 200 km with a speed of 60 km per hour? Now, distance has been given as 200 km. Speed is equals to 60 km per hour. We do not know the time. So, we know that speed is equals to distance travelled by time taken. So, time will be equal to d by s. It is 200 by 60. This is 3.33 hour. Question 16. A boy travels with the speed of 10 meter per second for 30 minutes. How much distance does he travel? So, speed is given as 10 meter per second. Time is given as 30 minutes. Distance we need to find out. As we know that speed is equals to distance by time, so distance will be equals to, equals to speed into time. That is 10 into, okay. Now time, 30 minute, we need to convert it into second. So when we will convert this 30 minute to second, this 1 
minute so to 60 second so 30 minute will be 16 to 30 yes that is that will be 1800 second so 10 into 1800 which will be equals to 18000 meter question 17 express 36 kilometer per hour in meter per second so 1 meter per second is equals to 3.6 kilometer per hour so 3.6 kilometer per hour is, is equals to 1 meter per second so 36 km per hour will be 1 by 3.6 into 36 that is equals to 10 meter per second. Question 18. Express 15 meter per second into kilometer per hour. Now as 1 meter per second is equals to 3.6 km per hour. So 15 meter per second will be equals to 3.6 into 15 by 1. That is which, which will be equals to 54 km per hour. So here we are, we are finishing this numericals problem. Now I will request each and every one to solve of your own. Then please check the answer. Because without solving it is not possible to get the answer in a proper way. So solve at first and please learn this conversions. It is also given in your book. The conversions are it's given the recapitulation portion please you can learn these conversions from there it will be easier for you to solve these numericals so students here we are finishing chapter 1 and test yourself portions answers are already given in your book so i will request each and every one to keep on studying so that when i will take your test for chapter 1 you can answer the questions immediately. So, study properly, solve the numericals. Thank you.